Hey everybody, it's Miss Kristen here with Rhett. Say hi Rhett. Hi. Rhett's a foster dog that I've been taking care of recently because the shelter has been closed. So they really need a lot of help um, taking care of their foster dogs. So we've got Rhett for an indefinite amount of time. And he's going to help me teach Sunday school, which he's very excited about and a little rambunctious about, isn't he? So we will be posting videos for the next few weeks. Um, of me and Rhett doing different things and doing crafts, teaching little lessons, and hopefully we can all still stay on our faith paths during this time. Now, I know that these times can be a little boring um, and maybe a little scary, but the good news is if this was going to happen at a certain time, Lent is kind of the perfect time. So it's, you know, it's always good to think about the positive. So anyways, if you haven't uh, been coming to church in the last few weeks and you're kind of trying to remember where we left off, we left off on uh, Lent. So Lent is the time of um, reflection, really. And it is the 40 days before Easter with Sundays off. Um, so I know some of you had made Lent goals and some of you hadn't. If you haven't made a Lent goal, you can still absolutely do it. We've got plenty of time before Easter, which is April 12th. Um, if you did have a Lent goal, ask yourself, how are you doing? I know it's it's been pretty easy to get distracted uh, because there's so much going on, but it would actually be nice to focus on a goal and maybe help us get our minds off things. I know for me, my goal was meditation. Uh, I was trying to meditate more because it's really good for the mind. And then my yoga studio, where I was doing my meditation, got canceled. Um, so I have been trying to meditate at home. Not so good at it, but I am working on it. One really good thing to do if you don't have a Lent goal and you don't really want to think of one is just having a goal each day. Just something to do. Something that makes you think about God. Something that makes you a better person. Anything at all. And that brings me to our next activity, which is the Lenten jar. We are going to make Lenten jars today, and I will post another video on how to make them. And basically, a Lenten jar is anything, any type of jar or box that we put in just little slips of paper that tell us to do one nice thing a day. Um, now, I'm using a mason jar, tissue paper, and Mod Podge and some twine to make a really pretty jar that I will put out in my kitchen and every morning when I get up I will reach in my hand and uh, reach in with my hand and grab just a little slip of paper that might tell me to do something like give somebody a compliment or learn a new Christian song that you didn't know. Just something that makes me a little bit mindful about the Lent season, uh, Jesus being a good Christian, something like that. So anyways, um, I'll post that in the next video. What we're going to be doing for the next few weeks is I'm going to be posting little mini lessons. I'm going to be posting um, maybe a song. I'll be posting um, links to crafts that you can do independently that have um, easy to find materials around the home. I'll also do craft videos um, to show you certain crafts that I think would be really fun to do. Um, and I'll also, if you selected this option, I'll be mailing fun craft kits in the mail to you, which is always fun to get mail. And you can get those supplies and instructions and make your own crafts at home as well. Um, so for the next few weeks, or I don't even know how long, we're going to try this out, see how it goes. If there's something you want to see or there's something you're specifically looking for, um, just email me or post on our Facebook page and I'd be happy to go into it. The things we're probably going to talk about are a little bit more about Lent. We'll talk about Easter. Um, we'll talk about the Last Supper and the Disciples. Um, and we're going to do all sorts of fun things. I'm going to do cooking videos. Um, we might do a slime tutorial. We might baptize Rhett here since he is not, um, he comes to us unbaptized. <laughs> and, um, you know, we'll be doing a bunch of different things. We might do a little communion. And um, if, if uh, like I said, if you want to see something, just let me know. And we'll kind of play this by ear and we'll see how it goes. So. Um, I hope you all found this video well, and I'm excited to post some craft videos coming up. 